Yo, yo, ya, yo. And y'all already know I punch him like Luffy. You already know that you a goofy. And you know I got more clips than a movie. Yo, chill, chill, yo. Dweeb, what you doing? What you doing? Man, stop playing with me. You, you, you stopping the flow, man. I said, got more clips than a movie. I turned his brain to 7-Eleven. Why is that? Because that shit turned to a smoothie. Nigga, you know what the fuck? Yo, all right, all right, bro. Relax, bro. First off, 7-Eleven got slushies, not smoothies. <laughs> Secondly, what's up with you trying to rap this shit? Like, you trying to copy my steez? Listen, man, listen. I seen in the comments, niggas was like, yo, when the dweeb going to rap? So I had to, you feel me? Give him a little 16 and all that. You feel me? All right, bro. Listen, you got it, bro. You got it. But listen, today we got to do the pre-time skip of review, bro. One piece. Turn that beat on, bro. Turn that beat on. <laughs> I'm really about to give him some bars. Hey, man. You know what the fuck is going on, man? This is the One Piece pre-time skip hood review. And oh, my God, man. You know I got to do a hood review. But I can't do that shit without a rap, right? Like, oh, my God. What I tell him? Hey, hey. I said, niggas acting crazy. I'm going to stretch him out like Luffy do. Niggas play around and I'm a waste around like hula hoops. You doing who? We aiming at your tops. We going roof to roof. You niggas got eight and then you die like you went fruit to fruit. The gravity of this situation, I feel like Fuji Tora. Line to the smoke so when it's time, I don't know who to shoot. I'm shooting you. I can see the pussy. See the lame on you. Your sock. After I father some niggas, got my aim on you. Oh, I feel like sugar. I'm a toy and turn the game on you. Y'all moving like ace. Hot headed to this flame on you. Shot a nigga. Ace marks the spot. I'm a lava niggas. One piece of advice. For the treasure, gotta slide a niggas Giving out birds on the arm I'm a robber nigga, block a nigga Feeling like Pika, I'm a rocker nigga Whipping up the pot like a nail I was shocking niggas, laughing till I take a nigga's life I'm a Roger niggas, man, you know what the fuck is going on, man Hey, this is the pre top skip Fucking hood review of One Piece, man Hey, grab the fucking strap Grab the strap Let's get it Well, you know, I never thought that we'd get here, man. Honestly, because when I did the first One Piece Hill review, I thought, you know, I didn't cover every arc pre-time skip. I didn't. But I was like, I covered enough to where it's like, I feel like this is enough for them. But recently, I've had a ton of people say, Sensei, are you going to do pre-time skip? I mean, you did all the post-time skip. Might as well do pre-time skip. And I was like, eh. But the other day, I said, you know what? I'm going to give them an opportunity to vote on it. So I made a poll. I posted it and I said if this gets at least a thousand votes and most of them are yes, I would do a one piece pre time skip hood review. And oh my god, an hour passed, not even an hour. It had 1100 votes, 92%. Yes. And I don't know if y'all are good with math, but that means at least a thousand of those 1100 people said yes. So here we are, Mino. The fuck is going on, man? From the intro, we are here with the pre time skip one piece hood review and i'm going through every arc you feel me and i ain't gonna break down every arc in detail like i do with some of my other hood reviews i like i talk about episode to episode ain't no fucking way but i'm gonna give brief summaries of what happened in this arc talk about some of my favorite characters least favorite characters flame some of the characters you know what the fuck is going on so first off we have romance dawn arc oh my god i think that is chapters one through seven and ho oh, this is how my man luffy starts his journey we meet shanks we meet the red hair pirates we meet the bandit that spilled drink on Shank. And that nigga met his maker. He said, bam, my nigga Lucky Root. But anyways, we start the story off and Luffy's a little badass kid. Now this nigga Luffy is bad. And I talked about this in my first, you feel me, One Piece hood review. This nigga ate the chlamydia fruit. I mean, the gum gum fruit. And I ain't gonna lie. The fruit was mad disgusting. Now, I talked about this before. I was like, like that fruit need to you feel me, go to the health department. You feel me? Like law chopper, Marco, you feel me? Get Crocus, <laughs> you feel me? Uh, Hero Luck. <laughs> Who else? Um, what's what shorty name? I forgot other shorty name. <laughs> you feel me? The Dr. Hogback. Like, bring some doctors in. You feel me? Get this fruit looked at because it was mad bumpy. You feel me? I ain't know what it was. But you know, devil fruits are just gross looking and they taste disgusting. You feel me? But you eat the fruit, you get powers. You feel me? Like I said, but you can't swim. Long story short, my man Luffy found a little treasure chest that had the gum gum fruit in it and he was like, hmm, I'm hungry. I'ma eat this. So this nigga ate it, right? And then this nigga starts to fucking stretching like I said in the first overview. And I said, oh my God, this nigga is Reed Richards. Nigga, this nigga is Fantastic Four, nigga. But my man Lucky Rue was not having it. He was looking at the treasure chest, <laughs> pointing at it like his chicken leg was in it and it was missing. Like this nigga was mad as shit. This nigga, yo Luffy, what are you doing? Why did you eat this? And I'm just thinking, man, you better than me because if a little nigga eat my, 
my fruit, you feel me, that I, now that we found out, you feel me, from wine and one shit, that we stole from the ops, stole this fruit from the ops, and Lucky Root even says that we got this from our enemy, <sighs> that little nigga would have been my enemy, I would have had to get that nigga to fade, you feel me, but anyways, Luffy eats his fruit, he starts Stretch Armstrong and all that, Gumby and all that, I mean, motherfucking <laughs> long arm, man, but anyways, the red haired pirates, we got this little incident, so this little bandit come in, you feel me, and he wanted some drink, now, the red haired pirates have been in here this whole time, and they drinking everything up so it's really not no I think it's called grog is it grog i think it's grog I, I i don't fucking know correct me if i'm wrong anyways my man shanks got one drink left you feel me and he's like let me buy you a drink oh yeah. i'm gonna take you home with me i got drug in the cup shorty what you think about that i'm gonna have you you feel me like and he was like, we in the bar, like, ooh. So he give him the cup, and then the bandit mad as shit. But I ain't gonna lie, the bandit is ugly as a motherfucker. Long face ass nigga, Jafar face ass nigga. Boy, <laughs> look like you had a long day ass nigga, long banana face ass nigga, jalapeno face ass nigga. Like, boy, if you don't get your motherfucker stretch arm strong, hungry, hungry, hippo face the fuck out of it. This nigga face was long as shit. Boy, if you don't get your Shaquille O'Neal shoe face the fuck out of here, nigga. Then he came in here with his nasty ass fit on, and these fat ass pilgrim shoes on, nigga. Yo, you and Usa got the same shoe, man. <laughs> I'm out playing the cobblers on, nigga. You remember what I said about the fake Usopp? He had the cobbler 12s on. This nigga got the motherfucking Christopher Columbus 4s on, nigga. Nigga got the motherfucking stocking socks on, nigga. I don't know if that nigga was a bandit or if that nigga got a Pilates class, nigga. I know you sweating in them motherfuckers. Take them shit off. Rock Lee socks having that, nigga. DV ass on. Jack Sparrow motherfucking shirt on, nigga. Nigga thought he was drippy. Came out like, yeah, I'm about to fucking kill him today. And then Lucky Roo said, yeah, I'm about to fucking kill him today. Boom, shot this nigga's motherfucking bun off his head, nigga. Got a bun on your head, marshmallow on top of your head, nigga. Nah, let me stop playing with this. Why I go in on that nigga so much? <laughs> But basically, you feel me? The nigga was mad, you feel me? He was like, nah, I want the drinks from my whole crew and all that. So he poured drinks on him. My nigga Luffy get mad and shit. Luffy like, hey, yo, how you gonna let this nigga pour a drink on you? Like, what the fuck going on? Like, you a disgrace the pirates. Like, you out here letting niggas pour drinks on you? They laughing at you and shit? Like, that shit ain't funny, nigga. You think that shit funny? And Shanks is like, yes, nigga, it is funny. You feel me? A needless killing. It's not nothing you feel me you need to worry about. Like, you only need to kill niggas when you have to. And then, you feel me? He showed Luffy that. He said, look, man, you shouldn't play with guns. And Lucky Roo said, exactly. But I'm going to play with mine. And then shot this nigga in his head. And I'm going to say it again, because Lucky Roo's the goat. While eating a fucking chicken leg. Stop playing with my goat. This nigga was eating Popeyes. This nigga had a two-piece dark meal, nigga. He was eating the leg, nigga. Why he shot this nigga's brains into another anime, nigga. The bandit's brains is in Naruto right now, nigga. He shot this nigga off the screen. He he teleported fast and shit to Dragon Ball Z ass nigga. Like this nigga Lucky Roo was so fast. Niggas made a theory up that he had a teleport fruit. Like this nigga really was on some instant transmission shit. Yo, stop fucking playing on my nigga Lucky Roo, man. After this though, the nigga Shanks ends up saving Luffy. Luffy drowning and shit because this dumbass ate the devil fruit. Remember that. The motherfucking Sea King comes. Big ass Lord of the Coast ass nigga. Big nasty dragon ass nigga. Dragon of the East ass nigga. A motherfucking Apu from Samurai Jack looking ass nigga. A Kaido look. Nah, I'm just kidding. Nah, but this nasty ass fish dragon shit. I don't even know, bro. Like, like, he came to try to eat my nigga Luffy. Pause. <laughs> He pulled up and tried to eat Luffy. You feel me? My nigga Shanks jumping away. Hmm, get the fuck out my way. Ends up getting his arm completely bit off. And I'm like, God damn, nigga. So after he gets his arm bit off and shit, he like gives Luffy a straw hat. You feel me? He's pushing a new generation forward. And I'm like, hey, my nigga Shanks a real one. You feel me? Got his arm taken off for this little nigga and all that. After that, though, Luffy ends up meeting um Alvita, this fat ass bitch. Like pre-fruit, she's fat and ugly as shit. And then she eats a fruit and gets like bad as hell. Like it was weird. But ends up meeting Kobe, this little pink hair nigga. Now Kobe ends up so, they'll tell him my nigga Luffy you want to be admiral and shit and I'm like alright you feel me like you a real one you know what I mean I can't get mad at my little nigga my nigga you feel me he want to be an admiral my nigga Luffy want to be pirate king I see the little dynamic Oda was creating but Kobe Please bring your young ass here, boy. If you don't get your motherfucking nasty Pepto Bismol hair the fuck out of here, uh, a K pop band looking ass nigga. Boy, if you don't get your freaky ass over here, nigga, Velma glasses, nigga. This nigga drop his glasses like <laughs> jinkies. Like, nigga, you can't see shit, nigga. How many fingers am I holding up? A nasty bifocal looking ass nigga, fat glasses ass nigga. Boy, if you don't get your double mirror glasses, clown mirror glasses the fuck out of here, nigga. And then I'm back on your motherfucking flamingo hair, nigga. Like, boy, what the fuck going on with your hair, nigga? And like, somebody hit your shit with a cotton candy ray, nigga. You went to your mom and said, Mom, we were at the circus and I saw some kind of candy and I thought I could get my hair like that. Nasty ass nigga. Nah, we stop playing. We stop playing my nigga Kobe. But anyways, my nigga Kobe, you feel me? As we get saved from Luffy from this ship, that's not poor. Nobody cares. 
So then they go to this little Marine post drink. That's where you meet my nigga Zoro. The fucking GOAT. Black Air Force personified. You feel me? Yo, my nigga Zoro is the GOAT, yo. This nigga was a bounty hunter before anything else, yo. I told y'all on the first overview, this nigga was out here catching fucking bodies before he even became part of the Straw Hats. This nigga was catching fucking bodies. Stop playing on my nigga. Zoro, I think, has the most bodies in the Straw Hats. Like, probably. Like, if you really think about it, if you break it down. Like, if you're not counting the niggas that you might think have died, like, because there's certain niggas, right, that get hit by certain attacks or like get damaged by certain attacks and you're like that would have took a top tier fighter out so their fodder they're they have to be dead right like like if luffy goes around and like gear force a nigga right he just runs around he punches a nigga with gear force and it's a fodder nigga you probably like is he dead like i'm not counting those i'm talking about confirmed deaths this nigga's over probably got the most kills bro i'm gonna be honest bro he's a real nigga he uses not one not two three swords nigga like i don't know if this nigga zoro had a, some sort of iron deficiency but he got a sword in his mouth, nigga. Pulse. You feel me? And he be fighting with that bitch. I ain't gonna lie. Like, that three sword style was kind of hard. So you learn about his little backstory and shit as we meet him. His backstory kind of cool, but it's short as fuck. He had the shortest backstory. Like, I ain't gonna lie. We meet Kawina, who was like his best friend, rival, like sister, cousin. Like, it was weird, but I don't know if they was going to end up being together. Like, was they going to fuck? Like, I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't know. But she ends up falling down steps. And there's like this whole rumor that she's like committed, you know, the S word. I don't want to say in our video because I don't want to get like, like limited ads because I said the S word, but S U I C I D E. You feel me? <laughs> People thought that she committed that. You feel me? And I was like, I mean, I guess you're trying to make her falling down steps sound cool because it does sound really fucking stupid that she died from falling down steps. I'm gonna be honest, like, but I mean, it, it is what it is. You feel me? <laughs> I, 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 it's neither near or there. <laughs> you feel me? Like, 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 don't you ain't tie your shoes, my nigga? He was just tripping, fell. Like, I, I, I don't know. But anyways, Zoro wants to be the world's strongest swordsman, and that nigga's going to be. You feel me? Well, I thought, I think he is. I, I don't know, man, because Mihawk, Mihawk built different. Like, we gonna talk about Mihawk soon. Like, that nigga's built different. So then we get to Orange Town. You feel me and this is where we meet a thief a gold digging ass thief nasty stupid bitch no i'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> now let me stop playing now we meet nami i didn't like nami at first like she did some fucked up shit and like, i ain't gonna lie like and it kind of made me mad in this arc like she really tricked my nigga luffy and zoro got them trapped you feel me turn them into buggy and shit stole they ship like luffy trusted too much in nami bro and, and nami ain't shit well she wasn't shit at first i'm gonna be honest like typical ass female like using and abusing i'm just kidding. <laughs> let me stop let me stop let me get off the misogynistic train you feel me before I get canceled because we know y'all niggas like to cancel niggas. But anyways, my nigga Buggy the Clown. Well, he's not really a D, but Buggy the Clown, yo. Oh my God, yo. <sighs> this nigga, bro. Like, basically, Buggy's one of those characters where it's like, if he wasn't such a cool meme, like, niggas probably wouldn't fuck with him. But niggas fuck with him because he's a cool meme. Like, he's like, let me think. He's like Usopp. Usopp's a good example. Like, Usopp, one of those niggas was like, he's a weak-ass nigga. But Usopp just mad cool. Buggy the same way. Like, Buggy is mad weak. But, like, we like to just say he's mad strong and, like, make jokes because, like, it's Buggy. You feel me? Like, we fuck with Buggy. You know what I mean? Uh, big nose that nigga. Nasty red light nose that nigga. <laughs> Nah, let me stop playing. I ain't gonna play Buggy. Nah, but anyways, after Nami turns him in and shit, you feel me? She ends up actually helping him, which I'm just like, you know, I ain't mad at it. It's just Nami weird, but it, it, it's cool. It's cool. Then we go to Syrup Village Art. We meet my nigga fucking Big Sop. The big nose man himself. Pinocchio ass nigga. Traffic cone nose ass nigga. Ice cream cone having ass nigga. Bike peg nose having ass nigga. Bissell vacuum attachment nose having ass nigga. Like, come here, Usopp. No, come here. Come here. Come here. Uh, about to get you, boy. Pilgrim's clothes having ass nigga. What you about to trade goods, nigga? What you about to trade your little corn? Husk hat, you, you about to trade your drinking gourd, nigga, for a motherfucking a piece of meat? <laughs> I'm really about to get you, boy. You lying all the time, nigga. Jim Carrey from Liar Liar looking at nigga. You need to start telling the truth, nigga. Fucking balance being no seesaw nose having that, nigga. Please get your motherfucking double barrel shotgun nose the fuck out of here, nigga. Boy, please get your motherfucking Olive Garden breadstick nose the fuck out of here. Talk about, huh, let me know when you don't want any more Parmesan. Uh, big bread nose, then. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. I'm playing. Let me stop playing my nigga Big Bird. I mean, Usopp. But nah, my nigga Usopp's the goat, man. Usopp is one of those niggas, bro, where it's just like, he lie all the time, but it be mad funny, so niggas just fuck with him. Because I fuck with my nigga Usopp. I don't really give a fuck that he be lying, bro. I just be like, fuck it. That nigga lie to me, I'm going to be like, I know this nigga lying, but yo, this my nigga Sop. You feel me? I fuck with him. So Usopp kept lying to his town and telling him that, yo, the pirates are coming. The pirates are coming. You remember, um, like, Paul Revere? <laughs> uh, what did what that nigga say? The, the British are coming. The British are coming. That nigga was like, the pirates are coming. The pirates are coming. Pause on all of those comings, though. Pause on all that. You feel me? But he kept saying that. He was kept crying wolf, like the boy 
boy who cried wolf you feel me so eventually niggas just stopped listening to him and then one day pirates really came like <laughs> on some real shit you know what i mean so this nigga kuro used to be a captain and shit he ends up becoming like a maid undercover type shit of this girl that usopp likes and like bro this nigga ain't shit captain kuro is lame as hell i really don't like kuro or his pirates like that like i'm gonna be honest with you like like these niggas is okay but like as an antagonist i'm just like this nigga kind of lame like I'm, I'm gonna come all the way clean and it's like this nigga want to be like oh my god Yo, Kira, I gotta get you real quick. Uh, Edward Scissorhands looking ass nigga. Wolverine looking ass nigga. Experiment 23 looking ass nigga. Like, you wanna be a nigga with motherfucking claws so bad. Freddy Krueger looking ass nigga. Then you got fucking zebra shoes nigga. What was you from the motherland nigga? Like, how many zebras did you kill to make them shoes nigga? Like, I'm really about to get you nigga. Stupid ass nigga. At least your hairline straight. But boy, you not straight boy. You <laughs> sus ass nigga. I've seen pinstripe suits and all that. I've never seen a nigga with shoes though. Boy, if I'm get your candy cane shoes the fuck out of here. Swirly durly shoes the fuck. <laughs> No, he's not playing with this nigga motherfucking Captain Curl, but Curl, I, I don't like him as an antagonist like that. Like, he was kind of boring as fuck, and it was like, he, he I don't know, man. Like, it is what it is. Some people be like, I feel like Curl was underrated. I feel like the nigga's overrated. Lame man, nigga. But fuck Sir Village, though. That shit boring. Nobody want to talk about that shit. On to Baratier art. <sighs> Baratier was a gas art because we meet my nigga, Big Sanji, nigga. The pervert himself. The predator himself, nigga. You know what the fuck is going on? Someone called Chris Hansen on this nigga right now. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I ain't gonna lie, though. Why was you dating Pudding? She was 16. But anyways, Japanese niggas are weird. But anyways, I'm just saying, my nigga Sanji, the French bandit. You know that Sanji would have been French? Oda really confirmed that. If you listen to the four kids dub, that nigga's accent was crazy. But anyways, that doesn't even matter. It's neither near or there. We meet Sanji, the chef. He loves cooking. He loves feeding people. You feel me? And we meet fucking Zef. Feel me? His teacher. This nigga Zef ate his own leg for this nigga Sanji. Bro, these niggas were stranded. Sanji ain't had no food. So Zef was eating his own leg so Sanji could have the regular food. Zef, what type of shit is you on? Are you a carnivore nigga? If you don't get your mustache the fuck out, Luigi, it's me, a Mario. Say, no, I'm scared. Let me stop playing. Chef Boyardi looking at nigga. Nah, I'm playing. Let me stop playing my nigga Zef. But nah, Zef, like, bro, this nigga ate his own leg, though. So he a real nigga, though. Like, I can't hate on this nigga. He's a real ass nigga. Like, and then we got Vince Smoke Judge, like, being Sanji's real dad, locking this nigga in the cage and shit. But you got this nigga Zef out here eating his own fucking leg for my nigga. Like, come on, how can we even compare the two? Anyways. We meet my nigga Sanji, my nigga Zef. He on this little ship and shit. Luffy like, I need a chef. He likes Sanji. You feel me? They link up. Now, we meet Gen, and we meet motherfucking, um, what's it? Not Axe Hand Morgan. That was the other nigga. Fuck. Don Krieg. We meet Don Krieg here. Now, my nigga Don Krieg is mad. He's actually underrated. Like, niggas be really sleep on my nigga, but I fuck with him. And Gen, that's my guy, bro. Bro, Gen's shoes are so iconic that niggas thought who's who was him due to his shoes, nigga. Like, yo, if you don't stop playing with my nigga Gen with his motherfucking uh, Mickey Mouse shoes, his Sora from Kingdom Hearts shoes, nigga, stop fucking playing with my nigga. But anyways, Don Krieg shows up, you feel me? And after Sanji feeds Gen, Gen goes back to Don Krieg and is like, yo, they got food and shit. They come back. They try to break in and all that. This nigga Don Krieg, though, I ain't gonna lie to you. This nigga came in with the motherfucking gold armor on, nigga. Like, bro, this nigga was out here trying to be asking her so bad, nigga. If you don't get, <laughs> like, bro, came in, like, looking like the motherfucking, uh, what's the, what's the nigga that Crimson Chan be fighting? The all gold nigga. What's that nigga named? The bronze kneecap. This nigga came looking like the bronze kneecap in this bitch. Motherfucker had gladiator armor on, nigga. I thought this nigga was like, bro, did you get lost, nigga? You were supposed to be in dress row, so why don't you, like, <laughs> Anyways, in this arc too though, which was mad random, by the way, mad random, still to this day don't understand why this happened. Bro, this nigga Mihawk in this motherfucking Dracula fit comes in this motherfucking coffin boat. Like, bro, he in this coffin boat. It's a boat that's a coffin and it's a one-man boat. This nigga's a one-man army. This nigga is traveling by himself in this little ass boat. And like, bro, I'm not gonna fucking lie to y'all, bro. Like, like my nigga Mihawk is a goat, but bro, he is a fake Dracula, bro. Like, this nigga looks like he can't be out in sunlight. This nigga looks like every OG in, like, Twilight, bro. Like, this nigga came out, and I ain't gonna lie, he got the drip, but this drip is, like, on some emo, like, goth shit. Like, I don't know how to explain it. You remember the emo kids from South Park? There's four of them. It's, like, the three niggas and the little nigga, and they all wear black, and they do the weird dances and shit. Little goth kids, yo. It's, like, them, yo. He's, like, a saucy them. Like, I don't know, man. This nigga just dark as shit. Like, he looks sad and depressed. Like, he needs therapy. Like, somebody talk to this nigga. I don't... Like, bro, you good? But I don't know, bro. But he be traveling by himself, you feel me? And... and, and oh, car cooning it. <laughs> okay. I ain't gonna lie, yo. I'm about to... I'm about to gumble, gumble. You feel me? 
Nah, but um, before we were talking about, oh yeah, 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 but see a saucy ass vampire. This nigga I look like the Count from Sesame Street. But I fuck with Mihawk. So Mihawk and Zoro get to scrapping because Zoro's like, yo, that's the world's strongest swordsman. Every swordsman knows about Mihawk. They get to fighting, and this nigga Mihawk pulls a butter knife out on fucking Zoro. A butter knife. This nigga pulls a pocket knife out. I swear to God, bro. First off, why do you have a mini version of the Yoru just on hand? Where does you get that from? Do you cut your steaks with that? Do you butter your rolls with that? Why do you have have that secondly why did you punish this nigga zoro with the little ass sword then he respects zoro so much he's like i'm gonna cut you with my real sword pulls his real sword out and gives this nigga zoro a wound that lasts the entirety of the rest of pre-time skip this nigga zoro was fucking wounded forever i don't know how that nigga even survived that shit bro he was just bandaged all the time he had that nigga zoro out here looking like knight of the living mummy like it was kind of sad like i ain't gonna lie to y'all but anyways, after this, we got Arlong Park. Now, Arlong Park was mad fire because the walk to Arlong Park is OD fire. Like, that's when Nami was like, I need help and shit. You feel me? She finally admitted she a lame ass bitch and she needed, you feel me, Luffy? But all right, let me stop hating on Nami. But I'm, I'm just kidding. But nah, Arlong though, bro, niggas be saying Arlong is Malcolm X. I was in the space one time, yo. My nigga Trip said, nah, I think Arlong is like, is like Saddam Hussein. And I said, nigga, oh my God. Like, it made sense. But it's like, why do we go there? How do we get here? Anyways, this nigga Arlong's kind of cool, bro. He is a fisherman. The fishmen are like, low key people be like saying the fishmen are like the black people in one piece and a lot of people be getting mad like they be on some weird hate and shit like nah i don't like how they be saying fishmen are black people and it's like bro they get treated like us though so i mean what do y'all want us to say bro they're a different color they're different than white people and they got pushed well it's not white people they're like japanese actually i keep saying white people all right listen let me let me just let me just say this because sometimes in my videos i say oh he's white and they're really japanese and y'all always say he's japanese actually and it's just like okay i get it but they're not black and they have light skin so that's what i mean by that they're like, like if you ever hear me say they're white i don't really think they're caucasian i'm not slow but they're not black and they have light skin i don't know how else to put it you feel me they are the white people from our perspective in this story they have the power not to get racial but y'all know what the fuck i'm saying so when people be like oh they're black it's just because like they're a different color they get treated badly and they push them underground like i don't know seems kind of black to me you feel me like i'm just saying you feel me it was, it was power to the people power to my fishermen you feel me anyways they be comparing some of the fishermen like arlong and like like hody jones and motherfucking fisher tiger to like like mlk and malcolm x and that's kind of weird that is kind of weird but like i mean it is what it is i don't really care but um yeah shout out my nigga arlong though he got this long ass nose though him and usopp got a similar nose except for like usopp's is straight and this nigga arlong got a like his shit is corkscrew this nigga arlong got one of those nose that you can like 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 lock pick something with like <laughs> This nigga got a Fallout 3 lockpick nose. Like, I'm going to come clean. But nah, nah. But Arlong is up getting beat the fuck up in this arc. That's all y'all really need to know about this arc. Like, this arc is mad fire, though. Like, there's a lot to this arc. But y'all know in my hood reviews, I don't like to go too, 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 too much detail. Because then it's like, niggas aren't going to watch the show. They're going to watch this video and get spoiled on a whole arc. And be like, what's the point of watching the show then? Or reading the manga? This nigga just going to tell me everything. You feel me? But y'all know. If you know, you know. But anyways, then Logtown arc, man. Motherfucking Logtown was cool because we get to see dragon for the first time so like luffy goes to where roger gets executed and and i'm thinking to myself why would you if you want to be pirate king go here and 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 you know that there's a possibility you could get caught up and he does get caught up and almost gets fucking executed like roger he gives a little speech and this nigga smoker's about to do him and then this nigga dragon grabs smoker's arm and was like oh nah like <laughs> i'm gonna need you to relax and i'm like oh shit the whole time we learned that that's luffy's dad and it's just like where the fuck have you been bro you like you on your jank freak shit like nigga how long like how spoiled is that milk my nigga like <laughs> how long have you been going to get it my nigga like oh, where you been at like i ain't gonna lie somebody need to call cps on this nigga go get this nigga to pay some child support or something like i know my nigga luffy like grown now but we need that back child support nigga where the fuck have you been i need explanations this nigga dragging long as shit though like Bro, pulse. This nigga look like a motherfucking Slim Jim and a rubber band had sex. Like, this nigga got long pipe cleaner limbs and he built funny as shit. Like, he look like one of them long arm niggas that suffer, like, his shit's not all bendy and shit. But he just got long ass arms and legs, bro. He just look goofy. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Like, this nigga got motherfucking exhaust pipe limbs. Like, this nigga just shit's just mad long. Like, <sighs> pause. Like, I don't, 
I don't know what's up with him. Then he got this weird ass tattoo on his face. I'm like, nigga, are you Japanese or Samoan? Nigga, like, what the fuck going on? Like, and people be like, oh, his tattoo is like symbolic or something. Okay, nigga. Like, I don't give a fuck, nigga. Then we get into the Alabaster saga. There's a lot that happens in this motherfucker saga, bro. But there's no fucking way that I'm going through each arc. Like, it, it, it's just not gonna happen. But what I will do is talk about, like I said, my favorite characters, favorite things, give y'all a brief summary. So the Alabaster arc is where we meet VV, man. First and foremost, yo, Luffy punched the shit out of VV, bro. Like, I, I'm gonna be honest, man. I mean, this man Luffy be punching niggas, bro. Bellamy, VV, Celestial Dragons, this nigga just be punching shit. I ain't gonna lie, like, VV was, like, really acting on some bratty, snotty shit. And my man Luffy, you feel me, channeled his inner Chris Brown to John Jones and punched the shit out of VV, bro. I'm gonna come all the way clean. Now, now I like VV, you feel me? But my man Luffy did a dirty, you feel me? Like, it is what it is. We also meet, you feel me, the Barack Works niggas, you feel me? It's a lot of these niggas. Some of them are relevant, don't really care. Some of these niggas are mad ugly, and some of these niggas are goaded. First off, I'm gonna go through the goats. First goat and only goat. Because <laughs> I don't care about the rest of these niggas. Is my nigga Bond Clay, nigga? Yo, my nigga Bond Clay? First off, though, I gotta get you, bro. If you don't get your Swan Lake ballerina dressed the fuck out of here, nah, but I ain't gonna lie. Him and Sanji had this crazy fight, and you feel me? I was like, yo, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Bond Clay the goat, but he's the goat for other reasons. Y'all know, man. Bond Clay always comes clutch for my nigga Luffy, yo. Shout out to my nigga Bond Clay, you feel me? And all that, you feel me? Shout out to the Finn boys and all that. The little Nas X. Nah, I'm just playing. But uh, uh, who else? Daz Bones is mad fire. Um, Him and Zoro had a fight, and I remember that was the fight that really got me into One Piece heavy, heavy, heavy. Like, I was already into it, like, heavy, heavy. But then that joint just put me on a heavy, 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 you feel me? Hefty, hefty, hefty type shit, you feel me? On some trash bag shit. But I fuck with Daz Bones, man. And he a brother, you feel me? So I got to respect him. Hairline was mad clean, and he had the drip. I can't even hate on him. But his motherfucking boss, though? Crocodile? Goat! Yo, my nigga Crocodile was a fucking goat, bro. I ain't gonna lie. And I said this in the other hood review, and I, and I double backed on it, and I was like, nah. But I'm gonna say it on this one, because I don't care, yo. He is guard done right. Fuck guard. No, I'm just kidding. Let me stop. No, for real. <laughs> Crocodile really the goat, for real. Fuck guard. But y'all know what the fuck going on. Like, yo, this man Crocodile the goat. But this man confusing, right? Because he fights Luffy three separate times. He punishes Luffy twice. And then the third time he loses. Yo, but before I talk about the time he lost, yo, y'all remember when this man used his sand and sucked all the moisture out of Luffy's arm? And that nigga's arm was dried up looking like motherfucking piccolos? Yo, I I'm gonna come all the way clean. Like, I it should look like a motherfucking uh, a dry leaf. Like, what happened to my nigga Luffy's arm? Like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, yo. Somebody need to do mouth to mouth on that nigga's arm, yo, because that shit was crazy. Somebody need to put a bite pump on that shit or something. I mean, like, his shit was ridiculous. Somebody sprinkled some water on that nigga arm. Yo, he had a little nasty arm from, like, the dude from Scary Movie 2. Y'all remember the little nasty arm? The nigga, what was it, the, the butler nigga? Remember he had that nasty ass arm? Little short ass? Yeah, that's what my nigga Luffy arm was. It was crazy. But Crocodile ends up losing to a pre-Gears Luffy, which I think is, like, fucking insane. Like, like, how did Crocodile lose, but then later at Marine Fort... I'm gonna save it for Marine Fort, bro, because th th that shit was mad confusing. Alabaster's a fire arc, though. Like, I'm gonna come all the way clean. It was all desert and all that. It reminded me of, like, uh, the little desert world in <laughs> Super Mario Brothers 2, you feel me? Mad de cactuses. Or, oh, I'm sorry. Cacti, you feel me? No water, though. You know what I mean? And then it finally ends up raining and shit, which was mad fire. Remember, Vivi was yelling. Started raining. Everybody thought that she's, like, some ancient weapon hose because of that. I'm gonna come clean, though. The, 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 the One Piece theorists, they're mad funny, bro. Like, these niggas will, and I've done it, will stretch. <laughs> They'll pull a Luffy, you feel me, on anything. <laughs> Yo, bars. But these niggas will come up with theories that, like, out of nowhere, thin air type shit. Like, I've done it a billion times, yo. I'll take a little piece of information, and other content creators do this all the time. People on Reddit, all types of shit. They'll take a one little thing and be like, all right, matter of fact, let me just take a page out of O'Hara's book. Shout out my nigga O'Hara. You remember the, the greatest One Piece theory ever? It got like 3 million views, got super big, like went viral and shit. All right, all right. So, just, like, picture that, right? That was a good video. It was a big video. This nigga O'Hara would be like, all right, so the word One Piece, all right, One Piece has eight letters in it. You know what else happened on chapter eight? Yo, we met Kobe on chapter eight. And then, you, like, we didn't really meet that nigga, but just, just go with me. Like, it'll be like, we met Kobe on chapter eight. Kobe's name starts with a K. Also, Kobe was on the LA Lakers. You feel me? And then it'll be like, all right, so if you take purple and gold and the letter K, what do you get? And then it'll be like, what? Be like, you get the letter K and purple and gold. You feel me? You know what else is purple and gold? And I'm like, what? What, what else is purple and gold? And then, and then it'll be like, well, Zoro's aura is purple in the anime. All right, so now you got Zoro, right? Zoro, feel me, the LA Lakers and Zoro, what do they have in common? They want to be the best. Like, bro, they, they, they'll just keep going like this in this, like, stupid-ass tunnel of events and end up at some point. Like, 
Bro, uh, the way that they be doing these fucking mental gymnastics to get somewhere, bro, it reminds me of that conspiracy theory YouTuber. You remember, like, he, he was like, the word dollar, dollar has six letters. You know what else has six letters? And then, like, they'll just keep going like that. Like, that, that that's what One Piece theories be doing, bro. Like, they be going through all these motherfucking hoops and flaming circles and shit to get to some point, bro. They'll correlate, like, 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 oh my god bro yeah, i don't know bro it's kind of crazy or it'll be like yo zoro has his scar on the left eye the left eye and, uh, and jaya is missing or uh, wait, wait was it jaya? no sky Island. was it wait not jaya what the fuck the sky island the, the the left eye and the skull on the map is missing so zoro is the key to like last it like they'll say some stupid shit like that like that that's what the theories do yo shout out my nigga you feel me you the ron shout out my nigga all hard there was no shade at y'all y'all the goats i'm just saying that Sometimes one piece theorists be we be Mr. Fantastic in out here. We be Stretch Armstrong in out here. You feel me? But but that's that's neither near or there. What's important though is Alabaster was a go to art. You feel me? But after that we go to Sky Island. Well Sky Saga. You feel me? Now Jaya, that's my motherfucking art. And Sky P is my favorite art in the anime. Psych, nigga, not the anime. The anime is fucking garbage. Sky P, no, I'm just kidding. It's not garbage, but the pacing is terrible. Like, bro, like, like just read the manga, bro. Y'all be watching the One Piece anime, and sometimes it's great. I love the One Piece anime, but it's like, god damn, the pacing, bro. I remember I started Sky P, I was 19, and then when I finished Sky P, I was 30, I had three kids, and two of them I wasn't being a good father to, so I ended up going on child support. Like, bro, they, 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 the pacing be ridiculous. By the time I finished Sky P, my grandfather died, and my dad had bad kidneys. Like, and I don't even know my dad, bro. Like, it should be mad confusing, but the pacing be terrible. My point is, anyway, Sky P is my favorite in the manga, you feel me? Because... I love this sense of adventure, and, and it's what One Piece is about. But Jaya is mad fire, because Luffy and Zoro meet this nigga Bellamy. Now, Bellamy, oh my god, this nigga is a fucking bum. First off, he has a spring fruit. What kind of stupid-ass fruit is that? A spring fruit, nigga? What the fuck is that? Like, what, what are you about to do, bro? What are you, a motherfucking a slinky? Like, nigga, what you gonna do with that? Like, look at me. I can jump high. Like, bro, nobody cares. Bro, you doing all that jumping, bro. You did all that jumping around Jaya just to get knocked out by Luffy. Luffy one-shot you. So anyways, Luffy and Zoro, they in a bar, bro. They enjoying they so. And you remember, like, how Shanks got messed up by the bandit and shit? The same type of shit happened to Luffy, right? But Zoro pulled a sword out. He about to cut this nigga up. And Nami is like, oh my God, Zoro. And I'm thinking to myself, Nami, please stay in a woman's place, the kitchen. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right, all right. Let me, let me relax. Oh, oh, I'm wilding out. I'm wilding out. No, I'm just playing. But nah, Nami's wilding out. Zoro about to cut this nigga. I'm like, and Luffy's like, oh, nah, stop. Don't even worry about it. Because Luffy knows that this nigga's a bitch. He knows. He smells the bitch on this nigga. So he's not even worried about it. And I can smell the bitch on him too. He got this powder pink ass shirt on. Like, like, what the fuck? Bellamy, please bring your ass to center stage. First and foremost, I have to get on that nasty ass belt. Bro, your belt looks like every white person in the 70s carpet in their living room. Bro, if you don't get this that 70s show ass fucking belt the fuck out of here, nigga. And then you got this stupid ass scar on your head. Your fucking scar on your head look like the center of a football, nigga. What's wrong with you? But then you got butt cheek eyebrows going on, bro. Like, boy, you look like you about to fart out the middle of your forehead, boy. You got shitty forehead, boy. Like, bro, you got two fucking cheeks in the middle of your shit and this low ass nose. Nobody even drew your nose on, bro. Is that a nose? Can you breathe, nigga? Can you smell anything? Like, bro, this nigga thought he had COVID and then he found that his nose is small as shit and he can't breathe. He can't smell shit. Powder pink ass shirt on too, boy. Boy, you and Bob Clay got the same stylist, don't you? Nasty ass, bro. I hate this nigga. Bro, he did all that talking heavy and all that shit just to get fucking knocked out. Yo, we also meet the GOAT in this arc, though. My nigga Marshall D. Teach. Editor, please cue the fucking menacing music because y'all know that this nigga Blackbeard is the fucking GOAT, bro. Bro, I told y'all niggas, this is one of the realest niggas in One Piece, and I meant that shit. This nigga does everything for him fucking self, like I said before, bro. This nigga will betray his own father, and he did, nigga. We gonna get the Marine for it. I can't wait to talk about it. But, bro, this nigga Blackbeard's the fucking GOAT, bro. So he has this crazy-ass speech about dreams and shit and Jaya, bro. And Luffy and Zoro just absorbing this because this is good knowledge. This is good, you feel me, shit. This nigga really up here talking that gospel, you feel me? Like, like, like I'm going to come all the way clean. And then they had this whole conundrum because they were like, yo, is he by himself? And then the whole One Piece community was like, yo, does that mean that, that he's like, like a different person or he's multiple people bro the obvious answer here is that this nigga had his crew with him which we already fucking seen but i mean people are gonna theorize i can't get mad at niggas for theorizing i mean it, it is what it is y'all allowed to do what y'all want but again i told y'all bro these one piece theorists bro including myself we'll be jumping through fucking bells and whistles like we're trying to come to some conclusion i'm just saying i'm just saying i'm just saying but anyways yo 
Bill Blackbeard, I really gotta get you though, bro, cause you're missing teeth. Bro, somebody get this nigga a fucking root canal, bro. This nigga needs like four cavities fixed. They're like, yo, this man Blackbeard must be multiple people. No, he's missing multiple teeth. Like this nigga needs help. Like, like this nigga got the darkness fruit, nigga. Need the dentist fruit, bro. Somebody get this nigga some insurance, bro. Get this, yo. Oh my God, bro. I ain't come on up with clean, bro. When did you lose your teeth, bro? It's cause you didn't brush. Like, like or, uh, when you bit the fruit, did you bite too hard, my nigga? Like, like where are your teeth at? You using the darkness fruit to cover them up? Like, I don't know, man. Like, motherfucker got pocket dimensions, yo. We're hiding his teeth in it, saving them for the tooth fairy and shit, like. I don't know, man, but it is what it is. My nigga Blackbeard's the fucking goat. That's all y'all niggas need to know about that. You feel me? Like, stop fucking playing with me. Oh, yeah, real quick, I got to double back because, oh, my God. I just forgot that I forgot to talk about Drum Island real quick. Drum Island's where we meet fucking Chopper, glorified reindeer, you feel me? My nigga Sauce Buck, my nigga Stantler, you feel me? Shout out to Pokemon and all that. Y'all really forgot with me, Chopper. He doesn't really matter, bro. This nigga only got 100 berry for real. They think this nigga's a pet. Nobody even likes Chopper for I'm just kidding. Nah, he's important to the crew. He's the crew doctor, you feel me? Doctor Hero Luck, you feel me, and all that. Shout out to my nigga Chopper. I'm going to kind of speed past it, even though Drum Island was like dead fire. And we learned that a pirate never dies unless he's forgotten. Y'all need to remember that. That's what's important. Shout out to my nigga Dr. Hero Luck. Yo, he's the fucking goat, you feel me? But Chopper, you feel me? He's the reindeer and shit. He got like these different points. He got a fruit. Well, he's like a deer that ate a human fruit i think something like that y'all niggas will tell me if i fuck it up but anyways this nigga can fight in his like different forms and shit he got these rumble balls this nigga be popping perks to change forms and shit yeah that's all y'all need to know about chopper you feel me but, but, but y'all niggas know who chopper is though like come on like what we talking about but anyways, these niggas end up going up this fucking knock-up stream, and they end up going to fucking Sky Island. Now, first and foremost, yo, shout out to my nigga Nolan. We're going to talk about him in a little bit. But anyways, Sky Pier is one of my favorite motherfucking arcs, bro, because of one simple reason. Well, a couple simple reasons. Sense of Adventure, it really is like what One Piece means, but I'm not going to break down everything about every arc. I told y'all that. I do got to talk about my nigga fucking Enel. God, Enel is the fucking GOAT. Bro, this was the first time that I seen an antagonist and I said, these niggas can't win. Bro, this nigga Enel literally beat the fuck out of everybody. There was this random bitch in this town that said his name and he heard her from miles away and he hit her with a fucking lightning bolt. Bro, this nigga is not fucking Pikachu, nigga. This nigga is a god, bro. This nigga is Raikou, nigga. Bro, he hit her from long range with that bitch, bro. This bitch came out the clouds and clapped her dumb ass. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. If I had a nails fruit, bro, my lights would have never went off when I was growing up, bro. I would have always turned them bitches back on. I would have said, snap my finger, did it. I would have zapped some shit. But I have to get this nigga a nail. A nail, please bring your ass to the front real quick. Marshall Mathers looking ass nigga. Eminem looking ass nigga. Eight Mile looking ass nigga. My knees weak, arms are heavy. Vomit on the sweat already. A nail spaghetti, I'm nervous. But on the surface, I look calm and ready to be a god. But I keep on forgetting how to thunderclap. But yo, this nigga, yo, if you don't stop fucking playing with me, then you got this nigga nasty ass drum thing on your back well what the fuck is that on your back and why is it so hard to unlock that shit on grand peace online i'm just kidding yo i be playing grand peace sometimes i ain't gonna lie but i ain't been playing recently but and now i am not done with you boy bro what the fuck is up with your ears boy you got jump rope ears nigga you yo you be letting all the kids on the block jump between your fucking ears nigga if you don't get the fuck out of here with your jump in ass ears nigga boy your tug of war ass ears nigga like, what the fuck going on with you, boy? Soldiers use your ears to practice in the military, nigga. They use your ears to climb up on, nigga. They use your ears to get strong. Like, fuck is you talking about? Long, dumbass ears, nigga. Like, bro, Dumbo be mad at you, boy. Be like, yo, you stole my whole flow word for word, bar for bar. Nasty ass bendy straw ears, nigga. Sour straw ears, nigga. No, nah, stop playing with this nigga. Stop playing with this nigga now, but... Yo, and now to go, bro, he came into the picture, you feel me, on, on, on the manga, and he cartwheeled in and smacked all his subordinates. Do, 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 do. Hit all of these niggas, bro. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. This nigga in there was the fucking goat, man. That's my guy, bro. But he ran into fucking Luffy, bro. The one counter to this nigga, bro. This nigga Luffy's rubber, bro. He resists lightning. Well, he resists electricity, not lightning. Is it lightning? Is electricity? Electricity lightning? Bro, I don't know, bro. But Luffy be resisting that nigga, bro. He's like a rubber glove and shit. Rubber ducky. You feel me? It, it don't work on him. Now, I ain't gonna lie. That's not how, like, real science works. It would have fucking burnt Luffy. But, I mean, it didn't. So, I mean, it is what it is. But because of that, Luffy was able to basically make Anel retreat on the Arc Maxim. And y'all are wondering, well, where did he retreat to and what's the Arc Maxim? This nigga used the City of Gold to create this super conductive ass ship that he could use his devil fruit with to not go to a different place on the sea no 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 this nigga went to the moon 
Bro, this nigga wanna be E.T. so bad. E.T. phone home ass nigga. Why did you go to the moon, bro? He's up there with space pirates and robots and shit. Like, bro, what is this nigga doing? I don't, oh my God, bro. I can't stand this nigga, but eh, it doesn't even matter. Anyway, what's important, you feel me, is... And that was the GOAT, and he clapped literally everybody until he got clapped, you feel me? That, that's all that matters. But next up, yo, we got Water 7 in this lobby, bro. This is where we meet CP9, bro. And I'm, I'm gonna come out of a clean. These are some of the best arcs in the story. Like, yo! Bro, I'm, I'm mad hype, bro. Pre-time skips early to go. I'm gonna come out of a clean. But yo, in fucking Ennis Lobby and Water 7, so much happened, bro. We meet the Frankie family, which is led by my nigga Frankie. Shout out to my cyborg goat, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> stop playing with me. Um, also, oh yeah, I forgot to say this. Also, like, after Alabasta, Robin, uh, you feel me, uh, joined the crew and shit. Uh, and I, I forgot to mention, because <laughs> you feel me, Nami's the goat, but... <clears throat> yo, Nami, like... <laughs> Oh, hold on real quick. Uh, editor, play that. Da, 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 da. Play that real quick. The one I sent you. The editor one. You feel me? Hold on. <laughs> Yo, Robin, like, I'm, I'm just really asking. Like, I said it in the other hood review, but like, what you trying? Like, <laughs> what you trying to get into? Because I know you join a crew, but I'm trying to see, like, if you trying to join my brothel or something. Like, it's just the one woman brothel. You feel me? And I'm going to treat you right. But I need you to treat me right. You feel me? I want you to grow hands off me. You feel me? I want you to turn me into something disgusting twist me up you feel me with the gawk gawk but nah i'm just playing you feel me yo, sh yo shout out to robin though you feel me she joined the crew bad as shit you feel me yo i love robin yo she bad yo i'm gonna come on we clean but anyways where are we at uh da, da, da. oh yeah water seven you feel me so we meet frankie cyborg goat you feel me y'all niggas know what the fuck going on we find out that the, the going mary's fucked up you feel me and Usopp gets kind of insecure about it because he's like damn y'all trying to replace the going mary that's part of the crew y'all gonna replace me as soon as y'all feel like y'all want to throw me away so he's like little luffy i want to scrap for the going mary yo usa versus luffy my favorite fight in the series yo this fight it meant so much thematically bro because it talked about how my nigga usopp's insecurity really fucked him up to the point where he was about to fight to keep the going mary because he thought that they would replace him like they did to the ship i can't even get mad at the nigga for that if i thought the nigga was gonna throw me out i would have been mad too but I mean, uh, it is what it is, though. They fought, you feel me? And Zoro was like, Yo, we can't come back unless you apologize. Like, real shit, real shit. Like, Zoro, Zoro races for real, but we ain't gonna talk about that. But, but I mean, you, you feel me? Anyways, Usopp and Luffy ended up fighting and shit. They ended up chopping it up at the end, though, and everything was okay. You feel me? But CP9, yo, we end up getting one of the biggest twists in One Piece. I'm not gonna tell y'all what happened and how this happened. No way. Robin ends up getting captured, though. That's how we get to Ennis Lobby. So we, they go to Ennis Lobby to get Robin back. And they end up shooting this motherfucking flag and declaring war on the world government. Crazy. Like, like, like this motherfucking art is so crazy. And then we meet my nigga Spandam. This nigga out here looking like mankind with this nasty ass mask on his face. This nigga got a devil fruit sword and shit. And we got like Rob Lucci, uh, Kaku, you feel me? <laughs> Kaku and my nigga uh, from uh, Wano, Denjiro, they got the same strong ass neck, boy. Like, yo, neck is strong as shit. I ain't gonna lie. These niggas got Gundam necks. Like, boy, these niggas got trash compact their necks. Like, if you don't get your fucking porta potty necks the fuck out of here, but nah, 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 but anyways they end up fighting all these cp9 members and shit this is where we get gears nigga my nigga luffy with the gears too and the gear three attacks like come on bro what we talking about i ain't gonna lie niggas be like gears was an ass pool niggas kind of spitting for real but be honest but anyways nah but then my nigga used gears you feel me beat the fuck out of bluno punish that nigga and then he fights rob lucci a lot of people think this fight is like one of the best fights in one piece and i'm like i mean this fight was cool but my nigga rob lucci lost the gears too in a motherfucking Usopp pep talk like Bro, Usopp was in the back like, you can do it, Luffy. L-U-F-F-Y. Luffy, Luffy, that's my guy. This nigga in the background like, bro, I'm just like, come on, like, what are you talking about for real? But anyways, man, that's not neither near or there, you feel me? Uh, the point is, my nigga Rob Lucci lost. Fuck that nigga. They got my nigga Robin back, you feel me? Rob Lucci cool, though. I was gonna flame him, because he got a stupid-ass top hat. This nigga in a fucking tuxedo. Nigga wanna be James Bond so bad, but I was like, nah, I ain't gonna do him, you feel me? Let that nigga live, you feel me? Now, after this, we got, like, post in us lobby stuff, but none of that shit's really important. Don't really care. Uh, But the four emperors get introduced, and that, that's kind of important, I guess. You feel me? So we got Big Mom, Kaido, Shanks, Whitebeard. 
Goats. I ain't gonna lie, they all goats. But you know, Shanks, we already knew about him. Nigga missing an arm and shit. Nigga can't clap or tie his shoes. My nigga Whitebeard, he, he, he dying. He old and sick and shit. This nigga, all he do is drink all day and shit. You feel me? Him and Shanks end up clashing and shit over some like Blackbeard shit. Man, ain't nobody care about that. We got Kaido, big buff ass nigga, miss leg day. You feel me? We got Big Mom, big sloppy ass bitch, fat ass bitch, nasty ass bitch, greasy ass bitch, drooling ass bitch. Like, bro. This bitch is disgusting. Beethoven face ass, nasty face ass, droopy face ass. What well, she got the big glizzy on her face, big snouts on her face, bro. T she motherfucking got a flower pot on her face. Like, bro, big mom, bro. You got to you get this motherfucker baguette off your face. Big fat ass nose, that nigga. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. And she got this fat ass dress on, bro. Obese Peach from Mario looking at bitch. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, but yo, big mom the goat, though. I fuck with her, but um, who else? Anyways, emperors, you feel me? They cool and all that. Yo, then we go on to the Thriller Bark saga, bro. We got Thriller Bark, bro. I fucking hate this art. No, I'm just kidding. This art was cool. That's some cool comedy. We meet Moria, and you know I got to get you off rip. Moria, please bring your big motherfucking bowling pin body ass the fuck over here. Pinstripe pants, nigga. Boy, if you don't get your Pennywise the Clown motherfucking pants the fuck out of here. Then you got these big ass goofy shoes from Kingdom Hearts, nigga. Bro, big fat ass shoes, bro. You just out of shape. Bro, when we first seen you, that nigga just sitting sad as fuck, depressed. Because he got punished by Kaido and got sent home. This nigga, my life is sad. I'm a fat ass bitch, bro. I am a fat bitch, Mr. Grinch. Like, this nigga just mad as shit, sad as shit, sitting in the fucking... He got Dr. Hogback. You should have named Moria Hogback. Fat ass nigga Hogback. Like, I'm just playing. I'm, let, me just, let me stop playing with my nigga Moria, but... This nigga all depressed and shit, but he got the shadow powers. He be stealing nigga shadows and shit, using them to power other shit up. He be, like, putting people's shadows into things... So he brought back the life ores. Like, he can bring back niggas from the dead type shit. So he had ores body, this big ass continent pooling ass nigga, this big giant ass nigga. He made the straw hats fight this nigga. This nigga ores is ugly as shit. This nigga got a fucking Moloch from Mortal Kombat mouth. Like, bro, this, this, this mouth is fucking gross. He got this one big ass tooth that's hanging out. Then his body all stitched up and shit. But, like, man, also, Moria just fat. Moria's a fat bitch, bro. I can't. Fat ass nigga. I hate Moria, bro. <laughs> Yo, that's my least favorite warlord, bro. Like, I really hate this nigga warrior, bro. I'm gonna come all the way clean, bro. But at the end, you feel me? It was some weird shit that happened. Like, basically, these people that were on Thriller Bark saved up these shadows, and they, like, put them into Luffy somehow, and then Luffy turned into Nightmare Luffy, which was, like, this Frankenstein-ass Luffy. Then he has a sword, and he ends up fighting fucking Oars and Moria. Like, it's so weird, bro. Ryuma also gets introduced. Zombie Ryuma, nigga looking like Night of the Living fucking Mummy. Nigga look like he in a goddamn Nicolas Cage movie. Like, bro, this nigga like he in a National Treasure movie. But anyways, him and Zoro get to fight, and Zoro gets Shishui cursed blade that's kind of cool sanji gets turned into this little dog and shit bro if we see absalon who him and sanji it's funny that absalon has sanji's fruit that sanji wants because this nigga absalon is a complete pervert and so is sanji both of these niggas are predators please call chris hansen i keep telling y'all that arrest sanji bro this nigga is a pervert this nigga out here sneaking into bathhouses and shit <sighs> anyways bro it is what it is bro fuck all that really nigga so after Thillabar, we got the Saba Odi Archipelago arc, bro. We got the Amazon Lily arc, Impel Down, Marine Ford, Post War. Like, bro, we almost there. You feel me? So in Saba Odi, bro, they get here, bro. They about to try to go to Fishman Island. They need to get here to use the little bubble shits on their ships to go underwater. They get here and all the supernova are here. We get introduced to all of the supernova. And I know y'all are thinking, yo, every time that there's a group of people in One Piece, this nigga sin be flaming they ass and i know y'all are probably asking me sin are you gonna flame these niggas and you should already know that the fucking answer is yes first and foremost will please can you come to the stage my nigga your rose now this nigga your rose out here looking like a soul caliber character nigga if you don't get your motherfucking mardock from tekken built ass the fuck out of here and this nigga got wings like i don't know if this nigga about to fly to heaven or if this nigga about to hit you with a suplex bro like i'm gonna come all the way clean and then we got jewelry bonnie like jewelry <laughs> i ain't gonna lie to you like are you old or young we don't know bro benjamin button devil fruit like bro this bitch out here turning herself into a baby and into an old ass lady like 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 what the fuck going on with you jewelry bonnie like yeah i ain't gonna lie you kind of already looking for real I'm, I'm gonna come all the way clean when you young and shit got these little boots on and all that 
But your fit is fucking ridiculous. When we get these stupid ass stockings on, and then you got these overall nigga Steve Urkel looking at nigga killer. Oh my god, this nigga killer want to be motherfucking Jason Voorhees so bad, boy. If you get this fucking nasty hockey mask to fuck off, like bro, you, I know you can't see in that motherfucking mask. And then your fit, bro. I don't even want to get started on your fit, but I gotta do it to you. Like like like, like you was a Sabaody looking fucking goofy, boy. He had these motherfucking polka dot ass shirt on, and these motherfucking pencil ass legs, nigga. He got these cyborg arms and shit, like. Boy, what you, what you, Mega Man, nigga? Like, what the fuck going on with you? But I ain't gonna lie, your hair was looking kind of luxurious, nigga, looking like Super Saiyan 3 Raditz and all that. But, but like, I'm gonna come all the way clean. Then we got X Drake. This motherfucker dominatrix looking ass nigga. This leather suit ass nigga. BDSM looking ass nigga. Hot Topic employee looking ass nigga. Like, bro, then you got this Toucan Sam hat on nigga. Like, 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 what the fuck going on with you, bro? Fruit Loops ass hat nigga. Like, boy, you like, you, you about to find a bird feeder with that motherfucker, boy. Call hat ass nigga. Like, fuck going on? Then you got an X on your chest. What the, what the X stand for? X mark the spot to the sus nigga, boy. You got this motherfucker nasty leather on. Zoro. <laughs> I'm gonna skip Zoro. You feel me? That's my nigga. You feel me? I poo. <laughs> Yo. I poo, boy. You from get your nasty piano mouth the fuck out of here, yeah? Da, 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 Georgia, Georgia, b -b -b stupid ass mouth, nigga. Then you got these nasty ass, bendy ass fucking limbs, bro. If you get your pipe cleaner arms the fuck out of here, you want to be a DJ so bad, but you ugly, nigga. Look like a Jet Set Radio character, nigga. You thought I was done with you, bro? You got the stupid ass ponytail too, nigga. But these dumb ass scrunchies, nigga. The fuck going on? Where you get your fit from? Beauty supply, nigga. The fuck going on? Your, your, your fit look like it come with Chinese slippers. Like I'ma come all the way clean. Then you got Basil Hawkins, nasty eyebrows, ass nigga. Like, 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 nigga wanna be soldier boy so bad, arching his fucking eyebrows and shit. Like, 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 like throw your eyebrows throwing up rakes, nigga. Like, like, the fuck going on? What you GD? Like, like, they don't let the GDs in the dough. Like, like, the fuck going on? Army Macy, a pirate ass fit, Jack Sparrow ass fit, nigga. I discovered America, Christopher Columbus ass fit, beige Capone short ass nigga, dwarf ass nigga, boy, boy. You got this nasty ass cigar in your mouth. You swear to God, yeah, same. Yeah, Miss, Miss Beige Capone, see? Boy, get your stupid mafio, fake ass mafioso mobster looking ass the fuck out of here, nigga. Fuck going on with you, man. And kid, oh my god, kid. Please get these aviator glasses off, nigga. You want to be Vegeta so bad, nigga. Please get these Amelia Earhart ass goggles off, nigga. Stupid ass arm, nigga. The fuck going on with your arm, bro? Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Your arm look like the, the back of a fucking trash truck, nigga. What happened to you? Uh, you lost your arm. You ran up on that wrong nigga. You ran up on Shanks, then you. The fuck going on? You ran up on my nigga Shanks and the monkey cut your arm off, nigga? What the fuck going on with these niggas, man? You feel me? My nigga Law I ain't even gonna get my nigga Law. My nigga Law the goat. You feel me? But he got a stupid ass hat, nigga. Motherfucking Doja Cat ass hat on. Moo! Dumb ass hat, nigga. Know what I mean? But I, I, mean, I ain't gonna get these niggas, though. You feel me? Shout out to Super Nova and all that. But, anyways, we find out that my nigga, you feel me, the Marines is showing up. Got motherfucking Kizru here. Kizru nephew. I forgot that motherfucker's name. Big fat ass nigga. I forgot that nigga name. But anyways, this is the part where... Yo, Kizru ran a monk on these niggas, bro. He was like, yo, you saw that nigga Hawkins. Yo, you ever been kicked at light speed? That nigga Hawkins was like, what? As soon as he answered, bam, kick the fuck out this nigga. I'm like, oh my God. The only nigga that did any damage to Kizru was fucking Apu. He really didn't do damage because Apu wants his low gear shit. He cut him into pieces and that nigga Kizru just came back to life. You feel me? Like, huh, rejoin nigga. You feel me? Regrew his body and all that. But he was ended up going after the straw hats. But then we meet my motherfucking goat. <laughs> also my brother's goat. You feel me? The Dark King himself, motherfucking Silver's Rayleigh, nigga. Stop playing with my nigga. Bro, well, my nigga had been retired and had to touch the sword in 20 years, nigga. And he still fought this nigga Kizaru, nigga. With a sword, nigga. Stop playing with my nigga Big Rayleigh. Yo, my brother told me one time that Rayleigh could be Superman. And ever since then, I was like, yo, that nigga Rayleigh the GOAT, yo. Because I ain't gonna lie, that nigga Superman picked up Infinity, nigga. Like, my nigga Rayleigh beat him? Like, come on, bro. That's what I'm saying. And I know y'all nigga saw him when he swaying the Amazon Lily, bro. This nigga ripped ass old nigga, bro. Come on, man. Stop playing with my nigga Rayleigh, bro. But he was the right hand of the king of the fucking pirates. Go D fucking Roger, nigga. Or as the Marines say, Gold Roger. Yo, stop saying my nigga name wrong. You feel me? Stop playing. But this nigga rarely get to scrapping with Kizru to keep him from the straw hats. And I ain't gonna lie, old nigga was staying in there. You feel me? And I, I didn't think he was gonna do much because, you know, he got dementia and all that. But like, yo, he did his thing, though. You feel me? My nigga was out here fighting Kizru. He had a sword in one hand, a walker in the other. He was still fighting that nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Like, he was doing his thing. But they ended up getting sent away by Kuma, you feel me? And I know y'all were like, damn, I thought that nigga Kuma died. Like, no, he still was alive. He sent these niggas to different places. But he sent my nigga Luffy to Amazon Lily. Now, Amazon Lily is this island ran by Boa and a bunch of Amazon 
It's Amazon. It's Amazon. It, the fuck are they called? Amazons? Like, whatever. It's all bitches here. I mean, all women here. You feel me? Uh, I'm been trying not to say bitches as much. My girl be on me about that. You feel me? So I'm trying to respect her. You feel me? But anyways, he ends up getting here and shit. They find this nigga. Yo, they start grabbing this nigga dick and stretching it out. They're like, yo, it stretches. They yanking on my man meat. I'm like, yo, what the fuck going on? Like, I ain't gonna lie to I wish it was me for real. Like, yo, yank on my meat. Like, what we talking about? But anyways, yo, Boa is like the leader of these Amazons. She's mad mean, yo. She ends up stepping on a puppy and shit. Like, somebody please call Peter on Boa, bro. I do not like her big forehead ass, bro. I hate her, bro. Like, I usually big forehead women. I love them, but like, I hate this bitch, bro. I'm gonna come all the way. I mean, I hate this young lady. <laughs> you feel me? Nah, but real shit though. She has a phone in love with my nigga Luffy, and Luffy is completely uninterested. Like at this point, I think my nigga Luffy's gotta be asexual. Like it don't even make any sense. Now, as all this is going on, my nigga Luffy's Viva card for Ace starts like burning up, and that means Ace is in trouble. And then we find out that they got this nigga Ace, and they're gonna execute him. And my nigga Luffy was like, "Oh hell no!" So we ends up going to Impel Down to get his fucking brother out. So he goes to Impel Down, yo, and I ain't gonna lie, bro. Impel Down was mad fire, bro. It was a fucking Prison Break arc, yo. And I fuck with Prison Break. Only the first season though, because the second season was ass. But that's neither near or there. So my nigga Luffy goes to Impel Down. You feel me? We meet my nigga Jinbei the Goat here. You feel me? Stop playing. And my nigga Bond Clay in here, nigga. It's all ghosts in this bitch. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. So, Luffy going through. And we my nigga even cough. Yo, I thought I forgot about even cough. Like, come on. <laughs> and I ain't talking about, like, like COVID and all that. Like, <coughs> cough and all that. Like, uh, I think it might be Avon cough. Bro. I ain't gonna lie. I don't think it's even cough, bro. It might be Avon cough. I'm gonna keep calling her Avon cough. Because, like, I feel like y'all gonna be on my ass about the name if I don't do that. So, I'm trying to get better with my pronunciations and all that. But, but, but that's neither near or there. What's important is my nigga is trying to get Ace out of here to stop the execution. <sighs> but he was too little too late, man. My nigga Blackbeard shows up. He makes all these prisoners fight and impel down to pick a crew. Bro, he got all these fucking people with him. Motherfucker Jesus Burgess. Motherfucker Shiryu. Motherfucking Avalo Pizarro Lafitte. Motherfucking, uh, 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 what shorty name with the big ass nose? Um, Katarina Devon. Motherfucker San Juan Wolf. Like all these niggas, man. He found all these niggas and impel down and shit. You feel me? And then Magellan, he come through with the poison joint. Yo, now Magellan's the warden of the prison, by the way. I forgot to tell y'all that. This nigga's an op, though. He a CO. I don't trust that nigga. But he got this poison, yo. And this poison is different. I ain't gonna lie, Luffy was about to die, but Ivankov saved him and shit. Cause Ivankov was like working with the revolutionaries and those dragon, which is Luffy's dad and shit. Like it's a lot of shit that I don't want to go into. I won't spoil everything, but yo, uh, this nigga Magellan was about to kill the whole crew. This nigga came through crazy. And I know y'all want me to flame all of Blackbeard's crew, but like we don't want an hour and 10 minutes on editor. I don't have time. So I'm gonna do a speed run. Yo, Sam Wild with fat ass nigga. This nigga look like Humpty Dumpty fat ass nigga. Egg timer built ass. This nigga Avalo Pizarro nigga. Nigga wanna be Jesus so bad. Nigga wanna play the Maracas, do the salsa. You feel me? Like, like, like stop playing with this nigga. This nigga is not getting through Border Patrol. Nigga, I'm gonna come all the way clean. Then we got Shiryu. Weird ass nigga. Big strong ass nigga. Crimson chin ass nigga. This nigga looks like a motherfucking neo Nazi. I'm gonna come all the way clean. Then we got Jesus Burgess. Fake ass WWE champion ass bitch. This nigga want the world heavyweight champion so bad, nigga. Nigga look like he lost his championship belt. In the ladder match, nigga. I'm gonna come all the way clean. Katarina Devon, big buff ass bitch. She Hulk built that ass bitch. Strong ass face ass bitch. Like, I'm gonna come all the way clean. But I, uh, my bad. I had to do a little speed run. But yo, I ain't gonna lie. I thought Blackbeard was about to die, but Shiryu ends up saving him. He had an antidote and shit. And that's how he ends up joining the crew. But anyways, long story short, is Ace is already gone. He's at Marine Ford, bro. And now we at the Marine Ford arc. And I ain't gonna lie. I'm not doing post war arc because I do not give a fuck. But a lot happened in Marine Ford, bro. Everybody was here, bro. We got the Warlords. Motherfucking. Dolphy, Boa, Mihawk, motherfucking Moria, Croc, like, well, he was a former warlord, but you know what I mean? Motherfucking Blackbeard, like, yo, Blackbeard, his crew is here. Shanks, they, well, they ended up showing up later, but we'll get to that. We got Whitebeard pulled out with his whole fleet, yo, they here to get Ace back. Luffy and then popped up Jinbei, the three admirals, Goku, Garp, like, yo, everybody is here right now. It was crazy. I'm gonna come all the way clean. Like, it was so much going on in Marine 4. And so little time, bro. But what y'all need to take away from this is that it was a fucking war arc. And I am not spoiling Marine 4 for y'all. There's no way that I'm spoiling what happened in this arc. This is one of the most important arcs in the fucking story. But what I am going to do is talk about my nigga Goatbeard. Because my nigga Whitebeard is the fucking goat. Yo, once again, editor, don't cue the menace in music. But can you find some music for like a real ass nigga? Like, like, like some goat music? I don't know. You got to play something for this nigga Whitebeard. Because he is the realest nigga. The Whitebeard is actually the realest nigga in One Piece. I know I said Blackbeard, but no. It is fucking Whitebeard. 
Whitebeard is the fucking goat, bro. He will always be goat beard, nigga. Fuck Blackbeard, nigga. Yo, this nigga Whitebeard takes all his pirates in as his own fucking children, yo. Under his wing, treats him like a father, treats him like a real nigga should. He fights in this war till the fucking end, yo. This nigga is the goat. And he tells his sons to look away because he knows he's gonna lose his life. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. Almost fucking cry, nigga. Nigga's a fucking goat, nigga. Stop playing with Whitebeard, nigga. Yo, but that nigga's ship is called the Moby Dick, yo. Pause. <laughs> that was crazy. You feel me? Like, he cold. He showed up. He's like, yo, what's the Moby Dick? And I was like, what? I ain't gonna lie, though, yo. Pre times get One Piece is the fucking goat. Yo, I'm so glad I get to wrap up One Piece by doing all the pre times. I was so happy I get to do this, and I'm so happy y'all get to watch it. But, yo, if you don't give me likes and all types of shit for this, I'm gonna be mad as shit, y'all. This was a long ass video. I'm paying good money to get this edited for y'all, too. Like, I'm gonna come all the way clean. And I did a cool rap for y'all in the beginning. Y'all better run these likes up and subscribe, nigga. Subscribe. But don't leave. Don't leave. Because I got, you feel me, right there. The original hood review right there. And I got post time skip. And I got Wano for y'all, man. Go ahead and check those videos out. Because I know y'all gonna want to see them after this one. You feel me? Stop fucking playing. And watch One Piece, nigga. Or you a dirty ass, stupid ass, lame ass bitch. Bye.